Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-1831. Item Number, SCP-1831 Object Class, Safe Special Containment Procedures, SCP-1831 is currently stored within a minimal security lockbox in Site-551. Description, SCP-1831 is a Polaroid photograph, circa 2002. It depicts the supposed backyard of a household. It is unknown if this household exists. On the back of the photograph are the words the prison, heart. Big Brother written with a marker. When a subject views SCP-1831 and attempts to focus on anything present within it, they gain memories regarding that specific item from their childhood, despite those events never occurring. Any particular item within SCP-1831 can trigger this. This effect only works on subjects born between the years 1976 and 2002. Addendum SCP-1831-1 Testing Logs The following tests were performed to measure SCP-1831's capabilities. The tests were conducted with D-3731, a male born in 1991. Following the conclusion of the tests, D-3731 was administered Class A amnestics and was assigned to a new project. Test 1 Item, The House Transcript of Subject This brings back memories. Ha! This was my house growing up. I lived in it with my family, and we had a generally normal life, I must say. We had two bedrooms, one bathroom, the laundry room, the kitchen, the dining room, living room, all of that good stuff. You see, the door leading into the house actually leads into a very small room that connects to both the kitchen and laundry room. So after a day of playing with my older brother, I'd go in and whip up a snack easily for the both of us. Oh well no, my brother would, but you get the point. Time allotted, 1 minute 26 seconds. Test 2 Item, The Broken Deck Transcript of Subject I'm surprised that thing lasted for so long before biting the dust. Me and my brother constantly jumped, slid, and hit that thing like it was our red-headed stepchild, ha ha. When it broke, we were already planning on moving anyway, so it wasn't that huge of a deal. That reminds me, I remember me and my brother were play wrestling outside, when he grabs me, and just throws me onto the deck, almost splitting it in half. I had to go to the ER to get stitches in my head, he threw. A bit too hard. D3731 size. Time allotted, 59s. Test 3. Item, the television. Transcript of subject. That used to be in my room, until, let's say an incident happened. I remember this was like a few days after I went to the ER, and I was at the dinner table, eating my green beans and mashed potatoes, when suddenly the table is broken in half, I'm covered in mashed potatoes, and my mom is crying while my dad is yelling his ass off at me, obviously mad as shit. Both of them are wearing very nice clothes. Apparently after dinner they were going on a date to the lake, and told me and my older brother not to do anything. I was confused, scared, about ready to break down and cry, while my brother just kept sitting in his chair eating, no emotion on his face. My dad took my television, and threw it outside so hard it nearly broke. I occasionally snuck it inside and plugged it in when my parents were asleep. It was basically completely broken, with the image being indistinguishable from static, but it was stimulation. Time allotted. 1 minute 7 seconds. Test 4. Item, the wooden structure to the right. 
Transcript of subject. Did you know that we bred rabbits? I don't know how you would know that, but we did. Actually right behind that picture was an extremely huge cage filled with breeding rabbits and what we called dinner rabbits. That wooden structure was an old cage that we disassembled because the wood was falling apart. Anyway, about the rabbits. Well, you see, we ate them. Like, we raised rabbits, killed them, and served them. Let me tell you, rabbit meat is extremely good, but apparently my brother was so against the idea. Like, very against it. A good bit after the ER visit, we bought BB guns so that we wouldn't have to use knives to kill the rabbits, and it would be a clean, painless death. Well, one moment I'm petting a rabbit, and the next I'm at the hospital, right next to my mother that has a BB gun wound in her chest. It wasn't a real gun so she made a recovery. My father spanked me that night, and even took out his rhinestone encrusted belt and mauled my butt to oblivion. Apparently I shot my mom with a BB gun within the lost time. I don't know how to fire a gun, even now. Time allotted, 2 minutes 17 seconds. Test 5 Item, the dog Transcript of subject I never owned a dog. Time allotted, threes. Test 6 Item, the patched up window to the left of the house door. Transcript of subject After that incident with the BB gun, I was told by my father that I wasn't allowed to sleep in my bed anymore, and that I needed to sleep in the laundry room as punishment. I had a pile of clothes to lay on, so it wasn't an issue, right? None of us liked doing the laundry, so it was never done, especially with my mom in the hospital, and my dad basically non-functional. So it was filled to the brim with sweat infused, shit crusted, crunchy puke ridden clothes. The door to the laundry room was always closed. And it stayed closed for most of our time there. We thought it was worth it just to buy new clothes than to enter that place. And, after it became my new room, aside from the three meals a day, it still stayed closed. Dad put a lock on the door, so I wouldn't leave. The patched up window used to be a normal window that peered into the outside world, but we had to cover it up with plastic so that flies wouldn't infest the laundry room, and then soon the actual house. So you can't look outside of it anymore. But, when it was raining, you could see the individual raindrops that landed on the plastic. And let me tell you, I got really good at counting raindrops. My fastest time of counting every single raindrop was two minutes, which I think I can beat today if I tried. What? Don't look at me like that. What else am I supposed to do? Lay down into the trash pile, and embrace the shit, piss, sweat and blood because I would rather not. Time allotted, 5 minutes 37 seconds. Test 7. Item, the foliage. Transcript of subject. Yeah, I remember not ever cutting that down when I was told to. It got so big that it blocked the place where we got our hose water, as it blocks a pipe from the other side of the fence. A few days after mom got back from the hospital, she was heading to water her garden when she needed to get the hose. She tripped, fell into the foliage, and was trapped there, and kept screaming, but we never heard her. My brother got up from where he normally sits, and went outside, sort of like it was instinct. I looked outside the window to see what was happening, and he crouched down next to mom while she was telling him to get her out of there, and he just stared at her. No emotion whatsoever in his face. Mom stopped screaming, but she still looked concerned. She got up from the foliage like it was nothing, and continued to go water her garden. I still don't know what happened then. Time allotted, 1 minute 20 seconds. Test 8 Item, the white colored house. Transcript of subject You know, it is kinda weird that the sky was always the color of the house. Time allotted, 11s. Test 9. Item, unknown. Transcript of subject. 
I remember one sleepless night when my drunkard dad forgot to put the lock on the door, and I was able to move around in the house. I don't remember where my mom was, but for the next few weeks I never saw her, so I can assume what happened to her. I opened the door, and went from the laundry room to the kitchen. I saw empty glass bottles everywhere, that was literally stopping me from going further. I decided why the fuck not, and picked up a half-empty bottle, and took a quick drink. It was alcohol. I wasn't surprised. I needed to pee, so I went to the bathroom, and did my business. During this, I suddenly had very bad nausea, and puked, missing the toilet completely. I then slipped on the puke while still peeing, managing to pee literally everywhere in the room. I fell down and hit my head on the rim of the toilet. There's now blood, piss, and puke everywhere. The door opens, and my brother walks in, all while looking at me. He doesn't have a smile, nor a frown. He didn't have any emotion in his face at all. I'm blacking out, and all I can see is my brother looking down at me. Unimpressed. The darkness embraced my eyes, and I. I. D3731 begins to cry. I never had a brother. I was an only child. Time allotted, 9 minutes 57 seconds. Thank you for tuning in, we hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations. Re